Okay, welcome back to the virtual uh, physics classroom. Uh, today I want to talk about some aspects of, of, of momentum. In particular, I want to demonstrate the ideas of, of conservation of momentum and, and, and when it is conserved and when it's not. Um, we have already talked about, or you should have already seen, the definition of momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity. It is a vector, so we have to worry about the two different directions, two perpendicular di directions separately, so vertical and horizontal um, usually. In front of you, you have a track. Um, I am behind the camera today, so the most you'll see is my fingers. Uh, so I have a track in front of me. The track is level. I have a vernier cart here that will roll on the track. The track is level. That's why it's not going to roll now. Um, and we're going to have a second cart here also. The first thing we need to do is to talk about uh, a couple of, of, of ideas that are uh, really needed to understand what's going on. First of all, is we need to speak about a system. A system is a um, pretty much like a, uh, a free body diagram. It's it's a it's a concept that we uh, apply to a system. It's a it's an imaginary boundary that we draw around our object or objects, uh, and we to to separate the inside from the outside. Okay. First of all, um, it's not it's not it's not rocket science here. I mean, here is a cart. What's going to be my system? I can consider this cart my system. Okay, everything that's outside of the cart might influence it um, or might not. Okay, if not if, now, what forces are acting on that cart? If the forces that are from the outside, from the outside, is defined by that boundary of the system. What forces are cutting through that boundary? Just think of the free body diagram. We have the car, the uh, um, uh, th uh, the uh, track here pushing upwards. So we have a normal force, and we have gravity pulling downwards. Okay, um, so those two forces obviously is, is canceling out here, so there is no net force on it. It's not moving up and down. There's no forces acting left and right, so it's not moving in that direction either. Okay. Um, we can talk about a, an isolated system. Right now, this is an isolated system. An isolated system is one that has no net force acting on it from the outside. <laughs> right? We have normal force and we have gravity. They are acting, but they cancel here. So there is no net force acting on this. So this cart right now is isolated. Now it's not. I have an outside force acting on it, right? It's moving. I hit it. I have an outside force acting on it, okay? Outside forces, um, you know, we consider outside forces versus inside forces, right? Inside forces, there's forces between molecules that make up that cart. We don't care about those forces because they cancel in pairs. This molecule and that molecule are interacting, right? Whether they push or pull, they, one acts on uh, A acts on B, B acts with an equal and opposite force on A, so they cancel. So when we look at the system itself, all the forces within the system we could care less about because they are internal and internal forces cancel in pairs. Okay, so uh, that's an isolated system, is one where there is no net external force acting from the outside. We can have a um, closed system. A closed system is a system that does not, basically it conserves mass. It doesn't lose mass. This is an isol uh, a closed, isolated system. That, now let's, here's a new mass. Here's a new system here. I put a mass on top, right? And I have the card itself. Um, and as this thing, say, moves, right? I'm gonna come over here and steal the mass, <laughs> right? The, the, the system, which was this, has changed. It's lost mass, so that is not a closed system. Okay, um, a, a momentum is conserved if you have a closed, isolated system. All right, so that's a those two restrictions. That must be closed, so you can't lose mass, and must be isolated, so there's no net outside force acting on it. Okay, so good, so good, so good. All right, here's another cart. This cart is the special one. There is a spring-activated plunger here, right? I can lock it in place, I push it in, lock it, push this little button here, and it, oops, it pops out. The interesting thing, this in real life is green, and on my, on my uh, phone, it looks blue. Right. So, um, anyways, just a little tidbit. I thought that 
might interest you. <laughs> so, uh, I have these two cards here, okay? What is, and, and I'm planning to have a play posit uh, uh, interaction here, what is the total momentum of this system? The system, by the way, is these two cards put, put together, okay? Right now they are not moving. What is the momentum? Okay, now we're back. The total momentum is zero. Surprise, surprise, it's not moving. Okay, now I'm going to take this and hit this little button and the little plunger is going to come out. After I, after, right now the momentum is zero. When I, play, when I press it, what was the momentum immediately after I pressed that button? Okay, let me sort of play it again for you. These carts, by the way, have the same mass. Oops. What was the momentum immediately after I pressed that plunger? Welcome back. And the answer to that was zero. Okay. Even though they were both moving. One was moving this direction. The other one was moving in this direction. If you notice, they have, they have the same mass. And if you noticed it, it, they had the same speed coming off, okay? So the total momentum was zero. This has, say, positive momentum. This has the opposite momentum, opposite direction, right? It is a vector. So one is positive momentum, the other one is negative. They had equal speeds, all right? So let's try this. I'm going to add some mass to this. And by the way, you can sort of see how quickly it's moving. Um, in class, we would listen to it. Here, you can actually see it. Now, I've changed the mass of both of these. I pop it. Momentum right now is zero. And again, the momentum is zero for the same reason. But let me, let me lose this mass. What's going to happen? And if there was a play positive video, the play positive video asked you what, uh, what was going to happen. And the answer, of course, was this was going to come off uh, more slowly. This one's going to come off more quickly. All right. So right now, the total momentum is zero. After I pop this, what will be the total momentum? And we are back. Pop it. This one is moving more quickly. This one is moving. Uh, this one is moving more slowly. This one is moving more quickly. So the momentum, of course, is yes. You guessed it. The total momentum is zero. Why is the total momentum zero? This guy has more mass. This guy has less mass. This guy moves more slowly. This guy moves more quickly. Mass times velocity. You must take both of them into consideration. Okay, the one on the right has exactly the same momentum as the one on the left. Okay, uh, assuming that your the, the video is showing in the same orientation as I see it. Um, so the mass, uh, the, what happens depends on the mass of the two, but the total momentum, the total momentum was the same. Okay, um, let me add more mass here, uh, just to give you a sense of what's going on. Watch this. Watch the speed of the two of them. Right when they when I had all the masses off, they came off at the same speed. So right now the momentum is zero. When I pop it, all right, this guy moves slowly. This guy moves quickly. Let me sort of add a little bit of mass here. You can see where this is going, aren't you? Don't you? And we can continue with this process. Again, slower. This guy's taking off faster and faster. Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> Again, the total momentum is zero. This has the same momentum as that one. Okay? Um, so, this guy, as, as you can imagine, what happens as I increase the mass of this, as I increase the mass of this, 
the total, the, um, it moves more and more slowly. I can make this heavier and heavier and heavier, assuming that there is no uh, friction down here. Um, this will always be moving. Okay, we'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. All right, so let's go back to the beginning again. No masses. They have the same. They have the same mass again. No added masses. The total momentum is zero. Now let's look at this as our system. Not this, but this. Okay. What's the total momentum before? Zero. Very good. You guys are getting bright here. No, I'm bright. This. You guys are getting bright. You're getting closer to me. All right. So right now the momentum is zero. The momentum of the one on the left is not zero. Why the difference? Before the, con the momentum was conserved, here the momentum apparently is not. Why? The key has to do with the spring. When these were together as a system, this plunger was part of the system. It was an internal force. This guy pushed on this, action-reaction pair, this pushed back. So that force, that action-reaction pair of forces was inside. If you want to, if you want to um, um, keep track of the forces, you can, but you, you, they are going to cancel, right? The force on this was in that direction. The force, on the, uh, the force exerted by this on this guy was that direction. The force exerted by this on this one was in that direction. Right? Those forces were equal and opposite. They canceled. Right? If we just look at this as the system, then this pushed on this one. Okay? The plunger is pushing on both. Right? This guy pushes. This guy pushes back. So this guy accelerated because this guy exerted a force on it. That's why this, mo this um, um, system was not isolated. Right? This system, the system of these two were isolated because there was no net out external force acting. Right? The plunger was an internal force. The only external forces acting are the normal force up and gravity down. Just looking at this guy as a system, we had an external force acting. So this as a system was not isolated during this explosion, if you will. Okay? Um, during that time period, this guy accelerated to the left. Um, this eventually, by the way, will slow down and eventually stops. Why? There is actually friction, of course, right? So as it's moving, there is friction, friction that's taking, that's um, acting on that particular system and it will slow down and eventually stop. During a collision, Collisions don't last very long, right? That collision there is not lasting very long. So during that collision process, I mean, this is this this motion is much less than a second. Two cars crash, right? When you see a car crash on, on problems, and you will, car crashes, uh, momentum of you know of the closed system, the momentum is conserved as long as like you know part of the car doesn't go flying away uh, and you just you know keep track of all the masses the com the um, momentum of two cars colliding total momentum of two cars colliding will be conserved there is outside force acting during the collision but that uh, of friction but that outside force is acting over a very short period of time uh, and I will I will put that together in the, uh, the lectures that you'll see um, and so we don't consider the outside force as being that uh, contributing much to uh, what's going on. The, the, the interaction here is this. This is very quick, and the um, external the friction doesn't act over a long period of time, so therefore we ignore that.